Greetings, Blade Warriors of the City Streets. I'm trying on a new pair of skates, so I'm going to bring you through my three favorite ways of skating. Today I'm in the Gyro GFR GX7. I think it's GX7 for short, but it's the Gyro. Got love the Gyro name. What's that a Gyro and Grace? It's lovely. So with the gyros, I'm city skating, hockey skating, and hardcore road skating behind a motorcycle with a camera mounted on it. Constantine brought out the Aprilia Tuono V4, and we both agreed that it was probably more than enough to keep up to me. The first thing I did when I got my new gyro skates was test them in the rink. I can hit these pavement pigs from every conceivable angle. A few times I actually hit the target. Yes, way too few. For the most part it's missed shots, which I won't show you. But I really am enjoying my gyros between these snipe attempts. Their mobility is perfect for how I like to mess around in the rink. Hockey skating with its stops, starts and carves was the biggest factor in getting me off the trail and becoming street worthy. So if they're good in the rink, they will be good for the street. You'll notice that I get a little frustrated. My stick is in rough shape. Look at this. Evidence that the Mission Zero G puck is pretty controllable on cement, even when your stick and ability are limited. Lately I've been messing around with what I call the two puck Shakur. I try to keep a couple of pucks on the go at the same time. Because I do not know that there is a standard two puck technique, I bring in no expectations and I have a little fun. My attention and speed for the one puck afterward feels a little more automatic as well. If I ever get three bottles in a row during a two puck Shakur, it'll be on my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Tumblr, Tumblr, but I just matter. Maybe I can find the old MySpace page too. What was my name? I think it was. Philistine Dwarf. The Philistine Dwarf? It's my heavy metal pseudonym. I always admire the way a world-class player deeks to clear the puck from behind their own net. Setting up a play, it's a lot of responsibility behind the goal. It's also the single most lateral movement pattern in hockey, which is a great hypothetical scenario to force me to challenge myself in both directions equally. This week also includes a city rip. I'm getting to know the Biz District pretty well now. Today I feel like I'm in the hockey skate skin. It's funny, every time I sit down to draw the perfect skate, it turns out looking exactly like a hockey skate, but with a kick-ass power strap at the cuff. This boot, however, fits even more snugly than the hockey boot. It's foot-shaped, not boot-shaped. The skate has three straps, but I choose to put wax laces in as I don't really like to rely on buckles. Because the liner I'm lacing into is a puffy memory foam, the wax laces really help maintain the consistent lacing down the boot. You'll notice I forgot to strap up my right foot lower buckle. This is not a lacing system test, it's me being a dozy schnook. These skates are designed for high performance in slalom and their carvability is sweet in close quarters of the city. I won't go on much more about the skate, but the thing I like most is how light they are. Barely over half the weight of my SIBO highs, uphill sprints and extended sessions are back on. The carbon fiber boot enables great power transfer and the low cuff enables full strides and more sensitivity to the roll of the road. Yeah, like the hockey skate. The price is pretty stiff, but the super light slalom skates always seem to come with a heavy tag. These are like Seba Igors. It's probably Seba Igors. Also a very light high-end slalom skate. These skates are perfect for someone who wants the mobility and agility of the hockey skate without the twitchy, unstable nature that the hockey skate presents early on. These skates are from Pro Skaters Place who have a wide variety of skates for city and trails. 
I'm also fond of the quality wheels and the numerous wheel sales they have at Pro Skater's Place. A set of decent wheels from Pro Skater's Place means I'm not having to buy new rocks weekly. Here I am just before the point where I prove you can change your gear, but it doesn't mean you'll change your skating. Yes, I've splatted in that exact spot at least two other times on camera. This one was like a belly flop. The first time I ever rolled off to privacy to see if I'd torn a nipple off. Nope, no infant vampires would stalk me this evening. <clears throat> that would be the second least glamorous a man could suffer. Glad to see it's only momentary. Oi, Bill, is that blood on your baps or are you just happy to see me? The motorcycle chase has been the highlight of my October. In September, I was lucky enough to skate the gnarly mountain bike track with kick-ass crashed ice skaters Demetrius James and Ty Roth. It was the sort of experience you have and you think to yourself immediately, how stupid am I that I have not done this before? Thank you Ty and Demetrius for helping me level up. And you're welcome for the lessons in falling. Repetition, it's what I do. Repetition, it's what I do. The camera work gets less shaky. Apologies for this nasty little section. I adjust the clamp in a minute. That was a close one. I used to find it extremely difficult to stride properly between streetcar tracks, but in the last four years, I've narrowed my stride as I've traveled busier roads. I've always been careful not to put my feet where they might be crushed because I like my feet. I also feel the need to keep myself small laterally so drivers can pass. This motorcycle perspective tells me I'm taking up way more room than I thought. Here's a steadier side profile. The only thing I don't love about the gyros is the bearings. The coasting is sluggish which means little in hockey and is fine for video as increased foot action is more dynamic. Posting a video of the perfect stride would be great for like an audience of 50 connoisseurs. You have to know what you're looking at, right? I wasn't a fan of the bearings that came with my Sebas either, my Sebas. I'll get that right someday. Their speed was fine, but the build was a little cheap. Bearings are temporary, and they're there to be abused. I'll replace the gyro bearings after I've messed them up a bit. They have stood up pretty well so far, though. Grabbing onto a moving motorcycle is very dangerous. Do not try this at home with less than 20 years practice. Yes, I'm old. I don't know if I've ever smiled so much for so long without the help of mood enhancing consumables or my ridiculous dog. It's guaranteed that we will do another motorcycle shoot. Next time my camera mounts will be more well considered with less shake and my skating will be faster. I promise. If it's not, I'll edit it to make it look like it is. Yes, fast cuts, shifting to slow-mo, then back to full speed. Fast music too. No, not that fast. Yeah, that's better. We'll keep that rolling for the outro. There's going to be some more drama before this autumn is over, Pavement Predators. I have some ideas about who or what I will chase next. I've also got my greedy, greedy hands on some super dope wheels. I cannot wait to light up the streets with these new toys.
I will see you out there, my blading brothers and skating sisters. Roll heavy and roll often, super freaks.